Hi, this is Iwata from Nintendo. Our first Nintendo Direct in 2013 is a Pokemon Direct. In this Nintendo Direct, I will deliver the latest news on the Pokemon series direct to you. The Pokemon series has been published in seven languages and enjoyed in more than 70 countries all over the world. So this Nintendo Direct is broadcast to Japan, the Americas, and Europe at the same time. It will take about 10 minutes, so I would appreciate it if you could stay with us until the end. Before I get to the main topic of this Nintendo Direct, I would like to briefly look back at the Pokemon series. Pokemon Red and Green which were the first installment in the series, were released in 1996 for the Game Boy in Japan. The package for Red featured Charizard, and the package for Green featured Venezal. After these original Game Boy games, software packages for the Pokemon series have featured legendary Pokemon, which appear at the climax of each game's story. However, in Pokemon Red and Green, these characters are the evolved version of the Pokemon, which players receive at the beginning of the adventure. Offering the two different versions of the game was a new concept at the time, but the fact that different Pokemon appear depending on the versions, encouraging players to connect their Game Boy systems with a link cable in order to collect all Pokémon, was positively received by fans. I'm sure some of you watching this Nintendo Direct have enjoyed trading Pokémon characters with friends using a Game Boy Link cable. Two years after their release in Japan, Pokémon Red and Blue were released in the Americas and Europe. Since these initial releases, there has always been a delay in bringing the Pokémon series to countries outside of Japan. Pokémon Gold and Silver, which were released in Japan in 1999, were designed for Game Boy Color, so vivid colors were introduced to the Pokémon world. Rare Pokémon of a different color also started appearing in this series. I clearly recall that fans were anticipating the release of these two games because it had been a while since Pokémon had become widely popular by that time. In addition to the two characters featured on the packages, ho -Oh and Lugia, there are various legendary Pokémon characters such as Raiko, Entei, and Suicune, which appear in various locations, and I'm sure many of you had fun trying to capture them. Around this time, the Pokémon series had gained a great deal of popularity outside Japan, but it took approximately one year and one and a half years to release the games in the US and Europe respectively. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire were released for the Game Boy Advance in 2002, and these titles offered upgraded communication features made possible by new hardware improvements. Double battles and tag battles could be played using the Game Boy Advance link cable. Double battle enables two players to battle each other using two Pokémon, and Tag Battle is a battle where four players create a tag team and battle each other using one Pokémon per player. These additions added more strategy to the game. Around this time, we also restructured the production for overseas editions and were able to release the titles about six months after the initial release in Japan. Additionally, Pokémon Fire Red and Leaf Green, which were released in 2004, 
included the wireless adapter for the Game Boy Advance, so players could enjoy Pokemon gameplay such as Pokemon Battles and Pokemon Trays conveniently, without the need for the link cable. The wireless adapter was developed by the hardware development teams at Nintendo, but I suggested offering this to be used first in the Pokemon games. Nowadays, it is very common to perform Pokemon communication without cable, but this was a big turning point. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the Nintendo DS games released in 2006, also made tremendous progress. In these games, you could battle and trade with anyone in the world using the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection without leaving your home. Pokemon Platinum Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Pokemon Black version and White version and the newest Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 which are still fresh in our memory were all released for the Nintendo DS. Nintendo DS was the first hardware system to have multiple games from the main Pokemon series, and so we have arrived at today. As you can see, the Pokemon series has evolved along with new Nintendo handheld systems over history and has expanded the range of its gameplay. Now, two completely new games in the Pokemon series will be introduced to Nintendo 3DS. Take a look at the next evolution of the Pokemon world in this video. Discover a breathtaking 3D world. Encounter new Pokémon. The more you battle together, the stronger your bond will become. Your new 3D Pokémon adventure is about to begin. Introducing Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. The next generation of the Pokemon series for Nintendo 3DS, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, will be released in Japan, the Americas, Europe, and Australia in October 2013. The Pokemon titles in the past have been released in other countries months after their initial release in Japan due to the need to localize the games to meet the individual needs for games in various countries. As indicated by the long history of the Pokemon series, there are a large number of Pokemon found in the games and a significant amount of resources are required for localization. Our challenge has always been how can we deliver Pokemon games to people across the world at the same time, while ensuring that the quality remains high? With this release, we've been able to overcome this challenge and release these titles to fans in the Americas, Europe, and Australia in October. This means that 
you can enjoy the adventure found in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y with trainers everywhere this October. The Pokemon series has always offered new style of gameplay to coincide with the new Nintendo handheld hardware. Features enabled by the Nintendo 3DS will be incorporated in the game. And in order to evolve further, teams continue work on the development of these titles. In addition to meeting new Pokemon, you will be able to see some of your favorite Pokemon again on Nintendo 3DS this October. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.